about Nigel was that all these shores are quite isolated in a way. And I did wonder whether that actually had some impact on the reach you get. So you get to Well, we've come down here as part of a survey of the seaweeds of Somerset, and this particular site is interesting because it's got some rock pools with quite a large variety of species, which you perhaps wouldn't expect quite so high up the Bristol Channel. Here, if I just try and get rid of some of the silt, you'll see it's a beautiful red very filamentous species. It's probably a ceramium, but we'll have to get it back under the microscope. When you look at these under the microscope, you can see in the sort of body of this particular seaweed, you can see banding. And depending on how often it's banded or how thick the banding is, that's a clue as to what the species might be. There are three main groups of seaweed that you find on the seashore and that's what we're seeing here. Here we've got the red, which you can see is really quite a bright red. In the middle is a brown, which is an olivey colour. And here's the green, the green sea lettuce. So those are our three main groups that we get on the seashore. And look here, this stuff here. This is, this is quite interesting because, did you know about the bladders? No. Well, each one of these represents a year's growth. Looks like that's getting on. Oh, that's four. Look, well, there's, that, so there's that's one, that's two, three, four, four years old, that one. So it's growing nearly a centimetre a month, but I imagine it does its growing perhaps at certain times a year more than the others, that, wouldn't you? I would expect that, yeah. Well, I'm just having a look at this particular species because we've discovered very recently that this is actually a new species, which we've named C. spitosa because it's rather tufted. So we think that's a good description of what it's like and we hope that that will help people to distinguish it from one of the other common species. I think this is a really interesting aspect of our work that even here up the Bristol Channel, an area that's very, very rarely been looked at for its seaweeds, we're finding new species, we're finding unusual species and we're finding more diversity than might have been predicted. Thank you.